Oh, we've got one already. Crack it. I was waiting for a long wait. Trying to replicate the OTB experience, which is the 50-50 mark and draws. Um, okay, we're going to take here. We're going to take our time as well. We do have like a good, it's 90 minutes and 10 second game, so maybe don't rush it. I feel like bringing the bishop out here to protect him, but it seems so lame. I'm actually going to bring it here, attacking the weak pawn. What are the things I would do in OTB? Well, what would I like to do in OTB? Sorry. It's be maintain that attacking sort of principle so that I'm giving the opponent something to think about. Not overregging it, not being too creative, but also really minding my blind spots and watching what the opponent can actually do to me. Those things really just spring out to me. Because I'm, from the previous games, that I've, I'm very good at attacking. You know, I'm, I can get these good positions. But the worst case scenario is that I'm ready in that attack position. And then there's something, a little backdoor element that allows the opponent to get around and either checkmate me or I'm losing key pieces. And I've only known this from doing evaluation of my games constantly, constantly, constantly. So it's basically going for the pawn with the queen, two on one, with the knight and the queen. So we've got to castle. Oh, I'm um, going for a queen exchange. So before I just take it off the board, is there anything better? Can bring my bishop here to defend. Am I losing out? Bring the bishop here, if his knight takes the pawn. Knight takes, bishop still defending, bishop still defending. I'm actually going to bring the bishop out. It's one of, I think one of those key occasions, I'm hoping I'm not wrong, where only capture were absolutely necessary on this occasion it hopefully should stand us in good stead if he takes them at least we're developing our piece rather than developing his bishop for him I was just wondering whether we're losing any pieces out of that but it does look like we're better off at the minute because we've got more pieces out in the board which got this got to be a positive but this person's a thinker, so this is what we're wanting. And this is what it's going to feel like in the OTB. Just taking time. Although, <laughs> I mean, in the last year where I entered the online competitions, everybody, a majority of players were just moving so fast, you know, and it doesn't really replicate what actually happens over the board. I think only the first game that I had when I was playing over the board recently um, the first player was just kind of moving really quite quick and then they made that erroneous move of the, the knight basically putting the hand on the piece so they had to move it so then they lost their queen um, the others didn't move so fast there was I think more the third, fourth was it the fourth one? fourth game I think the opponent moved quick but it was like kind of robotic and they were finding right half decent moves with their moves so I thought that was quite clever so it does actually capture so it does allow us to develop the bishop even more I think maybe this pawn's coming here to attack the bishop do we take? yes because we can double the pawns just small potatoes I mean that's only a two calculation thing <clears throat> Sometimes when I do my calculations, I just think I'm doing more than four when I usually end up just doing two. So I probably need to take... Oh, it's not actually attacking, so we can take the uh, knight off the board, double the pawns, and then queenside castle. So that was a quick move, but we've already talked through that. If, the, if that was there, we're going to take it. He might be a... What is it? Two bishop specialist or whatever you call them, but things... Uh, just think. Yep. Castle. Oh, can I not castle? Oh, phew. Right, I thought I'd move my king already. 
Then you might be thinking, oh, it's a knee jerk reaction, Queenside Castling to the last game. But no, I think it's appropriate because this is a, you know, it's a nice little bit of a file for them to work with. You can you can still castle Kingside. Uh, let's just move the king to safety. Okay, so what do we have? Do we want our knight staying here? Uh, it's got a bit of an attack situation going on. Out to come back in with the bishop, or leaving it here. If we leave it here, he's feeling really good, doesn't he? He's like coming down, ramping down with the pawns. Can we just come here? I don't think there's much going there, is there? Let's do that. Yeah, he's just going to go for a pawn challenge, thinking he's winning with the pawns and not having to do anything with the rest of his pieces. That's what I feel is going to happen. <clears throat> do, do, do. So how do we deal with that? Well, obviously we're just pushing this here. But it's taking its time, so I'm not going to do any more calculations and just wait to see what they do. Do, 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 do. Rook's chomping at the bit to go here. I said I'm not doing any more calculations. We'll just see. Just wait to see what the opponent does next. Got to learn to chill. So I think one of the things for me in um, in the over the board games, sitting across the board, is there's all these combinations that come flicking in. Once you've got, you know, you've done your first three moves or so, and you. Either feeling happy with your position or you're not, then after that, it's like it's the if buts and maybes. Oh, well, they could do this, they could do that, they could do the other. And when you've done all of that, and say if they're taking a long time over their moves, you kind of do forget what the move order is of what you thought of. So if they've made a move, and maybe it's the move you thought, but then you've not actually done the move order the right way so you make your move then you think yes I've done my calculation then afterwards you go oh no it wasn't that way so I think it's like recalculating your calculation to make sure that the calculation that you calculated was the correct calculation then make your move that's the way I'm trying to term it it, it has improved my game a little bit more in terms of sitting back but you know I'm looking to really improve it more for the over the ball thing and I, I really need to get back out into the maybe going to the club or something like that and getting out there and uh, just getting some practice as well um, but I'm treating the my tour the tournament ones as my practice sessions <laughs> oh because you can you can have too much chess you can play too much chess as well that's it's a true thing so I know I was playing a lot of chess before 2020. I was playing a lot of chess over the board. And it kind of does get to you. I mean, I've filled up all these books, you know, these um, books that I've got 100 notated games in. I've got like four books now at the minute. And I'm like, whoa, crack your sake. You know, you can learn. Yeah, I do learn from them because each game I notate and then I, I put onto the system and then I'll look at what how to improve this, that and the other. So this is why from my experience playing these games where I'm winning recently, I'm going, that ain't realistic. I want realistic, I want how it would be if I'm playing somebody over the board, you know, because I don't win all the time. I draw more than I win, um, you know, and then I lose a few as well. So that's more realistic than actually getting these wins on, on this online type stuff. So that to me, you know, again, always suggest when we're talking about ratings and this that and the other this is why from my personal experience I can say well when I'm playing say like a 1500 or a 1300 or a 1700 or a 2000 player um, if I'm getting to draw against a 2000 player or I'm beating a 2000 player um, there's something not right there because um, I am nowhere near that level and when I'm playing real people at the same level as me and I'm losing or drawing against them or I'm getting a few wins out of there then 
you know I can I can assess that well this 1500 here might not necessarily be a real 1500 over the board they might still win but currently at this stage in time you know I probably wouldn't get this far if I was playing a real over the board 1500 player you know they might have squished me already but you you do your own thing if you do, if you're into OTB playing and you've played against over the um, online players um, in real life um, you're probably laughing at quite a lot of them um, because some, some of them high level players are so scary it's unreal <laughs> I know there's some players that go oh no they're not that good well <laughs> tell you now you, you go to a proper over the board playing them um, you might naturally have some skill and you might be able to wipe the floor with them if you've got a natural ability and you know you get lucky and you, you win them that's fine but I would say the majority of people who are online just doing um, you know either just playing for fun but they've got really high ratings and stuff like that if they <laughs> go and play like a real over the board uh, 2000 plus and 1900 that type of thing um, get the shock of your lives honestly and it's not bigging them up it's just the fact um, they play totally different chess it's not this online chess this online chess is like um, what's the word it's like kindergarten yeah you know it's just there throw a few moves out there like me practicing for my tournaments here I'm like thinking realistically and I've been winning all these games I'm going this is way too soft and it's no slant on the players the players are playing what they play um, it's just that <laughs> realistically um, this is like it's like primary school you know it's like um, first school that you go to and then when you go into the big bad world where you've gone into high school pre and then university and then you think that you're really good you've gone to the university and then you come out into the real world you go into a park somewhere you see this uh, little old man just sitting there playing chess and you go damn I've been to university I'm a champion in this that and the other I'll wipe the floor with this guy you go and sit opposite this guy and this guy kicks your ass good and proper yeah why because he's real he's the real deal yeah um the players at this moment in time that i'm playing are not the real deal even though I'm, i can lose online i can um it, it's it's not real it's this it's kind of not it's nice for demonstration you know to show skills and you know movements on the board and concepts and ideas um I just want it to be more realistic. I don't want kindergarten type chess. I want proper chess. I want to be put under pressure, but not computerized pressure. I want human pressure. There is a difference. Anyone listening to this, I'm, I'm wanting pressure. I'm wanting good quality play, but I'm wanting human pressure. Yeah, I can't beat a computer. Just play as a human and. You know I can tell the difference you know and uh, so just chill with the well you know I'm going to try and make him look stupid that type of stuff I ain't interested in that I just want to practice for my OTB against humans and I'm searching for loss at this moment in time I've got one loss at the minute out of probably I can't remember, can't remember how many games I've played is it 10 or 11 or something like that yeah, it might be less. No, ten or no, is it ten? God, we have time to actually go and flick on and see, don't we? Because this guy's taking a while. Oh no, it looks like they might have left the game. Oh no, opponent left the game. You can claim victory. Oh, he's gonna come back. It's a hundred and something seconds. Uh, what? Can I just flip over and just um, have a look while we're waiting? Classical one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, yeah, okay, twelve. It's close enough. Yeah, so losing one out of twelve, that is not realistic at all in any way, shape. It doesn't, it is back, he's back. 
okay so he's gone for a long break he's come off he's come back now I am hoping he's not gonna come back with superpowers I'm hoping he's still staying as a human because there's no need it's only a casual game there's no ratings involved in this okay so he's come out with the <sighs> is this magic now I'm gonna fall into magic can't I all that thinking and my rook can take this pawn I can't believe that he's done all of that thinking and my rook can take the pawn and then I'm on this pawn as well. His bishop can come and defend or come defend here, but then I'm also on this pawn as well. What am I falling into here now? Oh dear, I must be falling into a trap, just like that last one. So that means we have to put some thought in here because he's put thought long and hard about this. He wants to release his bishop. His bishop could have come here to release itself. But he's not chosen to do that. So if our rook takes this pawn, I mean his king can come and attack the rook. And if we're looking to double up here, is he looking to attack? We can't. Oh, and they've resigned. I think that might have been a duff move, mightn't it? I don't think that was a good move. Let's have a look at the analysis on that. Man. Yeah. That, <laughs> after all, it, that, that must have been about, it felt like 10 minutes of thinking there and it come with that pawn move. This is so bad. This is so bad. This online training is so bad. I'm getting really quite annoyed now. Okay, so this is like probably game 13 of the 90, 90 minute 10 second games and I've only lost one and I'm not saying I've only lost one in a cocky arrogant way to say look I cannot be beat that is not the case, the case is what I'm saying is I want to get that realistic feel of playing over the board which is I usually end up being 50-50 right so there's no point in playing a shorter game because then that's not the same as what i'm going to be playing against in the over the board so 90 minutes 10 second game is the is the thing and the players that are on the rating type things are around about the rating area that i would be playing in anyway as well so there's nothing different or unusual about any of that um okay I think I'll just carry on plodding away and then we'll search for some more losses but I won't call them search for losses anymore we'll just have a look at developing our games as we're going through hmm interesting